The number of people attending the yearly Able Town show is rising by 5% per annum. And the number attending the yearly Bush Creek show is falling by 5% per annum. In the first year under consideration, 5,000 people attended both shows, which I take to mean each of the shows independently both had 5,000, the same number of people. Oh, really? As opposed to 5,000 all added together, because if it was the second and not the first, you don't know enough information to solve this question. That's why I was like, how do you do this? Okay. Now, nonetheless, I'm, I'm going to show you how I do this because there is actually a particular method that's important for this question, a particular way of laying things out, which will be very, very useful when we dive a bit deeper next year into the applications of series. Okay? So let's set this thing up. Right? Firstly, vital details. Right? We've got this town, Able Town. Right? It starts at 5,000, well they both start at 5,000, and it's going up 5% every year. So I'm just going to write plus 5% per annum. Okay, then you've got Bush Creek, and they're struggling at the same amount, okay? Hmm, a bit suspicious. Anyway, uh, this is the setup. You've got 5,000 people starting at each one, and then the first question they ask is, Find the total number attending each show during the first six years. The total number attending each show during the first six years. Okay, now, this is not too complicated. Um, total number during the first six years. How do I do this? When you do first six years, there's a couple of ways. The question phrases a bit, a bit ambiguously, but as you'll see, there's one of two ways to read it. Well, sorry, I should say there are two ways to read it. You're eventually going to need to read the question you know, both ways. You're going to need to answer both questions. Okay, so I'm going to answer both, and you, you'll see why it doesn't matter which way you read it. Okay, so what I'm looking for is, and I'm just going to call this, um, you know, A. So A and B. You need to introduce some language so you can start to talk about like some notation or that kind of thing. So you can start to deal with the numbers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let A subscript n, I'm borrowing this language from when we did uh, series, we said s of n, right? But I have two series that are going to form here, okay? So I'm going to make this the a series, and I'm going to have a b series as well. So a and equals. Now, here's my one of two, right? Here's my one of two, and I'm going to justify why I choose one versus the other. Uh, I can either read this as, read the question again, find the total number attending each show during the first six years, okay? I can interpret this thing, or rather I can define it as, all right, how many were in the first year? And then how many were in the second year? And then how many were in the third year? I can do it like that, okay? And then I just have to work out, according to that, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, okay? That can be my answer. Or alternatively, I can read it as, find the total number, I don't want, a1 by itself, and A2 by itself, and A3. I want all six years added together, right? So it's like, well, this is how many I had in the first year. Now let's add on how many I had in the second year, and the third year, and the fourth year, and so on. Okay. Now I'm going to go for option two, which is more work, okay? There's two reasons why. Number one, it's in an exercise about series, so I'm kind of suspicious. I think I'm gonna have to add this eventually. And when I look at the later parts, right, for example, when you look at part C, it says, what's the ratio of the total number attending one show over these 25 years to the total attending the other show? So you're clearly going to have to do some summation here. Okay? So I'm going to define this, and it's critically important to define it. Okay? Let A and B, the total number over uh, the first N years of shows at Ableton, right? N years of shows. Now, I hope that language, that way that I'm phrasing it, makes clear. I don't just want how many in the first or the 18th or the 100th year. I want all of them cumulatively up to that year, okay? Uh, over the first N years at Ableton, right? And then similarly, B of N equals, and just for the sake of time, I, mean, I would normally write out this whole thing, but it's that at B. Okay, are you right with that? So, let's start forming these series, right? Now, 
Think back to when we first started talking about sequences, let alone series, right? How many terms do I need to uniquely define what a series is? Three. I need three, right? So before I can get to an expression for a sub n or b sub n, I'm going to have to get a1, a2, a3, likewise for b, and off of those patterns, then I'm going to generalize. Okay, does that make sense? And getting those three steps is critical. So let's start with a1. It's the easiest. A1, this is the town that's growing, okay? It's the town that's growing. So the first year, they actually tell you it's just 5,000. Like that's by definition. That was just provided. Uh, in the first year under consideration, 5,000 pe people attended both shows, okay? So there's A1, done. When I do A2, okay, what happens here? Now I'm gonna write this in a particular way, right? Because this is cumulative, it's cumulative, right? The first thing I've got to do is I've got to include what happened in the previous years, right? So A2 includes A1 in it. But then in the second year, I've got a new audience, right? So I'm going to add them on. Now this is the growing audience, right? So it's going to have that 5,000. But what will I multiply it by in order to get the size of the new audience? N minus 100. Okay, now this is just the first year, right? So it's like I had this amount plus 5%. Now, because I'm going to be dealing in like, you know, all of these whole numbers here, I don't really want percentages flying around. I'm going to write as a decimal. So I will write it like so, okay? That's really a contraction of one plus 0 0.05, right? This is compound interest happening, right? Except it's audiences, okay? Yeah. I'm sorry, wouldn't it be 0 0.05 because your one is already included in your A1? No. That's a great question to ask, and the answer is no. The reason why is because I want the entire audience, not just how much the audience has grown by. Okay, so 0 0.05, uh, if I want to go back to money talk, that'd be like my interest, right? But I actually want the whole thing. I want the whole audience in the second year. Okay, are you right with that? Okay, now that's, I'm almost done. Uh, this is 5,000 plus 5,001.05. There you go, there's A2, okay? Third year, right? Now I'm doing this cumulatively, right? So before I start working out anything about the third year itself, I need to take into account the two previous years, right? And that's A2. You see what I'm doing here? You see how helpful it is to think in the recursive definition, right? I'm saying Sn equals, sorry, Sn equals Sn minus one, plus TN. Do you, you see what I'm doing here, okay? Does anyone ask any questions at this point? Why yeah. yeah. is it cumulative? Okay. Why is A2 equal to A1? Okay, so in some senses, the reason it's cumulative is because I've defined it to be cumulative, right? I've defined it to be the total number over those years, okay? As opposed to how much in each year on its own. Okay, so I, I suppose I could have defined it that way if I wanted, but it, it won't help me solve these later questions, right? So that's why I've defined it in this way. And also because like, I'm dealing with series. This is what I'm interested in. Great question. Um, now, let me just, I glossed over that point really quickly. This line here, I'll just write it underneath. What it really is saying is Sn equals Sn minus one plus Tn. Right, that recursive definition, despite how strange it is, is enormously useful. It's how this whole thing builds. Okay, now that I've got all the previous years, right, how many are going to be in the third year itself? Um, 5,000. 5, times 1.05 squared. What? Okay, now, be careful. It's growing by 5% each year. So in the third year, right, it's going to take however many people were there last year and increase by 5%. But we know that increasing by 5% is a multiplicative growth, right? As opposed to like 1.1. In fact, it's not 1.1, it'll be 1. Point... Actually, I don't know what the answer is. Okay, you can work out on your calculator, okay? Uh, but 1.05 times 1.05 is not going to be 1.05 1. 1. plus 0.05. Okay, what is it? Yeah, it's bigger, it's bigger. That's right, because it's compounding, right? Okay, so now I've built that. Let me actually evaluate it here. So this is A2 coming in. There, okay? Now, you can see the series now, can't you? It's starting to form, okay? So now that I've got my one, two, three terms, okay? 
Now I'm ready to generalize. And no sooner. Can you see, at this point, I don't have nearly enough information to generalize. I mean, not that it would be, but this could be an AP for all I know, right? From here to here, uh, I don't know, what is 5,000 times 1.5? It'll be 5,075? 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, there's a common difference of 250 there. The next term could be 5,500, but it's not, and I only know by the third term. Okay, now I'm ready to generalize. Let's do it. AN. Okay, now pay careful attention to the numbers and how the series grows, right? Clearly, each series is starting off the same way, right? So I'm going to include all of the previous terms here, right? And to establish the pattern, of course, I need my first three terms, right? But if I go all the way up until the nth year, right? Dot, dot, dot. What will my very last term be? 5,000. Okay, I'm, I'm obviously gonna have the 5,000. There's 5,000 always appearing. I'm gonna have some number of 1.05s. How many? N minus one. N minus one. Do you recognize this, right? Do you recognize the formulas? This guy is A, R, N minus one. Got it? Okay. Now at this point, all I'm really interested in is actually, think back to the question, I want A6. You see that first six years, okay? A6 is just enough numbers that I could do this manually, like, and it wouldn't take me a ridiculous amount of time, okay? But as you'll see pretty quickly, they're gonna ask me about like 10 years and 25 years. No thanks, okay? So instead, I'm gonna take the fact that this is a GP. I'll finish this line and then we'll pick up period five. I'm gonna take the fact that this is a GP, and get a sum out of it, okay? Watch carefully. First, there's so many 5,000s here, I'm gonna take them all out of the picture. You okay with that? 5,000, once I factorize it, I'll get this. Whoops. You see that? Okay, what have I done then? Now, don't miss this, don't miss this, right? We're gonna write this line and then get, get a sum and then I'll dismiss you, okay? This, I'm gonna make a statement about it, okay? Now we'll discuss this statement that I'm making in period five, but for now I'm just gonna hand it to you, okay? I wanna identify this before I say anything in terms of a formula. So I'm literally gonna say the word, this is a GP. This is a GP with. Now, there are three features that I, it's a partial sum by the way. There are three features that define a partial sum, right? First term, common ratio, and what's the last one? Number of terms. Number of terms, thank you. A, R, and M. Okay, so A equals one, R is equal to 1.05. Now, please, <laughs> for the love of saying meaningful things, don't say N equals M. Okay? Don't do that because you'll just look like a tool. All right? Instead, just write n terms because with a equals 1, with r equals 1.5, with n terms. Okay? If that's true, then I can say anything about this that applies to GPs. Whoops. Namely, my summation. Right? So this is, say it with me, uh, a times r to the m minus 1 all over r minus, minus one. 1. Okay, I'm going to stop there. We'll pick up after lunch.